alligator clamps. They're nice, low profile, nice, small, compact size. I think this is a pretty darn good buy. It all right, it's registered that it's got batteries, so we got 13.1 volts. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Red Zero Two. Today, we're going to be doing some reviews. I'd like to thank today's video sponsor of Locathor. They went ahead and sent out me sent me out two of their products to test out, review, do durability test, and let you guys guys know what I think of them. And then we have the J3250, which is their newest product. So let's go ahead and test these out. Nice, small, compact size. And this is what it looks like whenever you open up the J3250. It's a 30, 3250 amp lipo 4 battery pack so this has a not just a lipo battery it has the more advanced battery so it's supposed to work in last a lot longer and it is also supposed to uh, work in a lot more extreme temperatures so you get your charging cables and then the jumper cables i do really like these heavy duty alligator clamps they're nice low profile and they have a nice strong grip to them and then you got some really heavy duty connections there and look how tiny this thing is so it's supposed to be able to start a 9.5 liter gas engine and a 7.5 liter diesel so that's good for the scully it's got a 7.3 liter power stroke diesel so currently draining the battery in the bus and we're going to try and try it out once again went ahead and uh, killed the battery on the bus on purpose all right so we're going to go ahead and see what the jump starters will do once again i keep on <laughs> I'm doing the wrong end silly so now this is supposed to be able to start up to a 7.5 liter diesel so we'll hook this up the same exact way since it worked out on the AW401 so we're reading 12.3 volts Let's try it out. I'm going to let the glow plugs run. See it drop down in voltage. Wait for the glow plugs to go off. Kicked up to more volts. J3250 and we're going to go ahead and jump start the cup with it. So this is a B twin engine. It takes a lot more power to start this than your smaller lawn tractors. So all you got to do is plug the jumpers in, connect them, and go ahead and Alright, it's registered that it's got batteries, so we got 13.1 volts. We have another completely dead tractor here without a battery in it. The best thing a jump starter can do is to be able to start a vehicle just by jumping the starter like this. 
So the thing is, with the Logothor is you got no power. So to be able to bypass that, you hold the power button and the light button for three seconds, and now the alligator clamps are energized. So, ready? Alright guys, the Logothor J3250 can jump start up to a 9.5 liter and a 7.5 liter diesel. And you know what, for 120 bucks, uh, I think this is a pretty darn good buy. It has a light like all the other jump starter packs have and um, it even has the typical outputs for you to be able to charge your devices. What I do really like about the Locathors is they have the voltage reading on the uh, home screen. So whenever you go ahead and hook up your battery, it'll go ahead and tell you exactly what voltage your battery is at. I think that's a pretty neat feature. And I really, really like the heavy duty, low profile alligator clamps. They're able to get down in there into a tight spot and they have really heavy duty connections for the jump starter itself so guys if you're interested in the market for a jump starter check out logothor the j3250 definitely worth the buy we'll catch you guys on the next one have a wonderful day